Ian Braun, I'd like to ask you about collaborations. And in this context, I'd, I'd like to focus on the campus and university level. Uh, Lubin, Lubin School has established a number of opportunities for schools, both within the business school and across Pace University, to engage meaningfully with the business curriculum. For example, minor concentrations, dual degree programs, and business-related certificates. Similarly, there are collaborative university-based programs, such as the Pace Path, that exist here at Pace University. For many schools, attempting to establish interdisciplinary and cross-campus collaborations can pose significant challenge. What advice could you share to help other schools develop and leverage such valuable collaboration opportunities? Um, I think there's, there's a number of different strategies. I think um, the first one is to harness the positive inertia wherever it exists. So quite often, different faculty members in different departments or even different schools will have a personal chemistry and a common interest and they'll want to do something. So my first strategy is empower. I mean, that's, that's a fairly scarce commodity. So when I see it, I want to empower it and, mm -hmm. and give it resources. So that's sort of the easiest thing. Harness the positive er uh, inertia that exists. Um, the second thing is, I, I think it's certainly true here, and I would suspect it's true everywhere, that um, a certain amount of student centricity is what drives faculty to be faculty. Mm -hmm. So if you can explain the benefit from the point of view of the student uh, to, to, to a certain kind of collaboration so that they can get past whatever the issues are that are preventing the collaboration mm -hmm. and demonstrating why it's, it's such a positive experience for the student, um, I know here that our faculty, that's my most effective argument. If, it's, if I can convince our faculty it's good for the students, the mm. rise to the occasion. Mm. Um, and so that's a second strategy. And I guess, um, and then I'm a deal maker. Um, uh, you know, sometimes it's a stipend, sometimes it's release time, sometimes it's a windowed office, sometimes it's, <laughs> it's you know, there are lots of different currencies that a dean has mm -hmm. um, to, you know, work with people and empower people and encourage them to do things that help achieve the institutional agenda. So it's really about listening carefully to your faculty uh, to figure out, because they're not all the same. Faculty are not a homogeneous group of people. Mm -hmm. And so listening carefully and trying to understand what motivates your faculty member and then coming up with sort of a win-win proposition for the faculty member, that's, that's how I've approached it. And it doesn't always work, but it, it works enough that we get, we get things done. Well, pointing out strengths and opportunities and also incentivizing in the right way. This is really, there, there's a science and an art to this, but it's, it's setting tone in very effective ways.